The Magic Wand tool selects areas of similar color. If I take the Magic Wand and click on the solid blue area here, all that blue will be selected. Same goes for the yellow area. If I click on the green background in the photo, a certain amount of the greens will be selected. Up in the Tools option bar, I can change the tolerance. Dial it down and a narrower band of color will be selected. As the tolerance is increased, a larger range of color is selected. I'm going to set my tolerance at 30 now and try to select the orange areas in this butterfly's wings. I can click once to get the first selection and then hold shift to grab the others. To do this faster though, I can uncheck contiguous from the tool options. This will select all the oranges nearby, creating multiple selections at once. I'll still need to hold down shift and click in some unselected areas to get the full range of orange, but with contiguous unchecked, the process is faster. Once the orange area is selected, I'll probably want to refine the selection before attempting any adjustments. So I'll go back up to Refine Edge and Feather as well as expand the selection somewhat. I can then use these buttons here to get a clearer look at the details of my selection. Now I can put the selection on its own layer and adjust the color. The Quick Selection tool is a lot like the Magnetic Lasso. But rather than outlining an area, you just paint it in. I'm going to try and select the leaf that this butterfly is sitting on. So I'll just start painting on the leaf, right up to the edge. You can see the selection area expanding as I paint. The result here is pretty good, but there are a couple spots I need to correct. So I'm going to reduce the size of my brush to work with these details. Use the left bracket key to reduce the size of the brush. I can hold down Option to subtract from the selection while I paint. Copy and paste, and now the leaf is on its own layer as well. The selection brush simply lets you create a selection by painting. I can choose a brush from the tool options bar, and then start painting. Rather than laying down a color though, a selection is applied to the area I paint over. This can be really helpful for touching up detailed selections that were done initially with a different tool.